Now, two days after rape convict Bitti Mohanty was arrested in Kerala, Rajasthan police are going to reach Kanur by this evening to seek his custody. Bitti has been sent to 14 days judicial custody in Kerala. Bitti, the son of a former DG of Odisha, was on the run for the last seven years after being convicted for rape in 2006. He was working in the State Bank of Travancore in Kanur since last year. Uh, for more perspective on this, we are now being joined by Jajati Karan from Bhuvaneshwar. Jajati, what is the road ahead for Bitti Mohanty from here? Well, after Rajasthan police take him back to Rajasthan, he will be serving the rest of his jail term. Apart from that, he will be also be facing uh, the charges of, uh, for jumping parole. And, and as far as British defense is concerned, uh, his uh, family, particularly his father, would definitely, definitely uh, cha challenge the case itself in higher courts. That's what he was telling uh, me earlier, uh, so some months back. And if, if uh, th 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 that this case has been challenged, what uh, um, uh, defense B.T. Mohanty's father, B.B. Mohanty is uh, giving is that this was a matter of consensual sex and B.T. Mohanty has wrongly been framed and that they will challenge the higher court. But that will take a, a long uh, time. Till then, B.T. Mohanty has to uh, be in jail and serve the remaining term. Uh, meanwhile, B.B. Mohanty is, is not traceable uh, since his uh, um, uh, son B.T. was arrested okay. two days back and uh, repeated uh, attempts to contact Jijati, him. I'm uh, his sorry to interrupt blocked. you. I believe we are being joined by the SP of Anandpur, Shanavas Kasim. Mr. Kasim, if you can uh, uh, hear me. Uh, Bitti Mohanty was found in Andhra Pradesh. He actually sat for an exam there and then he went to Kerala. Uh, what more can you shed light on uh, his movements there in Andhra Pradesh? Uh, good morning to you, ma'am. Uh, the first thing is that Kerala police has not contacted us officially. Out of seeing the media reports, I myself contacted them. As for the information available to me uh, by my personal <coughs> intervention, uh, they, he was working in a bank of Travancore, but the bank people have not sent any verification to us. The only way in which Anandpur police can come into the picture is through the verification of the credentials with respect to his job. So I have verified in my office and in the office of the district collector. There is no verification sent by any bank in the name of this alias Raghav Rajan. So there is no question of having to do anything with this case. This is the preliminary information which we have till now. I have also spoken to Kerala police. They are saying that they will be sending a team to Anantpur. So we are willing to cooperate with them and we will definitely be cooperating. As far as uh, we have this uh, information, this is the latest we are sharing with you. Yeah, uh, but sir, uh, you um, before this had no information that Bitti Mohanty was in fact in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, did you get any tip off like the ones that the bank received in Kerala? Look, he left Putta Party in 2009, 2007 to 2009, as per the media reports, he was staying here. During those periods, whether the tip came or not, we are not sure. But definitely it will not come, for the simple reason that he has changed his identity. His entire identity is different. So a lot of tourists and lots of people come for devotion to Putta Party. So it is impossible until unless some specific alerts or specific inputs are there. So, in, do, during those periods also, Rajasthan police contacted or not, we don't know. Because a person who enters any district, until unless some specific alerts are there, some specific queries are there from some corresponding police or agencies, nobody is in a position to comment about any person entering any area. So, that is 2007 and 2009. Now it was imperative for the bank authorities to immediately get his credential checked, which they have not done till so far. If he has stayed in Puttaparthi, if he is claiming, then the bank people should get, uh, get the credential verified within one or two months, as the norm says, before recruiting him. So they did not do it. So if they could have done it, the exposure could have come much earlier. Okay. Mr. Kasan, thank you so much for speaking uh, with CN and IBN. Uh, Jajati, if I can come to you uh, for one more question. Um, Mr. Kasan, they are saying that the, the police in Andhra Pradesh had no tip-off. The banks did not do their uh, proper job of verification. So, a lot of blame game going on. But as the probe begins, will the probe also lead to who all helped Bitti jump bail and in fact stay away and on the run for seven years? Well, that's the big question now because uh, he's been arrested in Kerala and he has been into Kerala apparently for last few months only. But before that, what are the places he had been in and who are the people who had helped him?